the duct tape brand is a, is a perfect example was, um, it was kind of a generic product back in the 70s what everyone was calling it D-U-C-T tape. And my dad had the vision to brand it and call it D-U-C-K. And that's the marketing side of the company. And, and once we made that move and developed that brand, um, it changed the company forever. Whether we're branding frog tape or duck brand or a new product we're launching, T-Rex tape, um, we, we think that understanding how to brand, understanding consumer, and doing consumer advertising and getting the consumer insights and developing them into our products and our branding is key to our business. We're responsible for the way that our brands are represented in the marketplace. What's so great about being in category management and marketing is that we, like there is no typical day, what we're doing every day is responding to the needs of our customer. And we're focused on a line of products or a product that we can sell to all the customers. We have two business units right now. One is focused on home and office products, um, which is our shelf liner, our mailing and moving business, uh, packaging tape business, and um, some other products as well. And then we're actually both in the DIY products. So what we're focusing on, the products that you think of for everyday DIY, which includes painting tapes, duct tapes, and then also our color duct tape line, which is a big part of our business as well. It's almost like entrepreneurial. It's almost like you're in a, a little crowdsourced <laughs> startup uh, because we, we really are working kind of passionately and aggressively with each other to, to do the best for our company so it's I think entrepreneurial is a good way of describing how we work. We have cross-functional partners across the company that need to come together to make products. It's not just marketing. Obviously there's a manufacturing component, sourcing, people need to buy this stuff. Um, Packaging, yeah. environment, which is part of sourcing and manufacturing. We need to make sure that we're compliant, so we have quality, we have regulatory. So there's a lot of players, and in order for that to be successful, it has to be structured. So we usually meet with that team once a week as well to go through any of these new products that we're talking about and make sure that everybody's aligned on the rules that they need to play. But the way our business is, it's so dynamic. You're expecting different things and, and different customers, vendors. Uh, transportation, all of that has an effect on how your, your products and your plans and your budgets work and you just you know it's gonna change. So That's what really keeps it exciting though yeah. is you you can't get bored. You don't come in, sit down at your desk and think, oh I'll have to do this again because you probably are doing something you haven't done in three months or a year or ever before and you're kind of figuring out how to get through it. A, a lot of our successes, I, 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 the ones that I keep and remembering our promotional opportunities. They're usually um, sales opportunities that come out of nowhere or, or you know, they're additional to what we were planning. So I feel uh, as a team, we usually start bouncing ideas when those opportunities present themselves. You know, how, do we, how do we do a display like that? We've never done that before. Right. You know, can we put this much product in there? Or can we put some of your product in? You know, so it, it turns into kind of a, an interesting challenge and I think everyone kind of rises up to those challenges. We have to feel good in the work that we've done, the effort we've put forth and the brands that we have and that doesn't always lead to the success that we're hoping to have in the retail marketplace. In this position, in this, in this company, we don't get to choose what makes it to the shelf, unfortunately. Right. We'd right. love to. We create these beautiful, perfect products that work amazingly well and sometimes the customer decides not to put it in at that time. Yeah. That, that's kind of the, when you, you have to feel confident in the effort that you put forth that it was the best that you can do. You can't control every decision that gets made. And we do a pretty good job of congratulating ourselves as a company for, for our good efforts because we understand that's just kind of the way the retail works.